My name is Brad Beard, owner and winemaker for Mercury Wine, located in downtown Geyserville, California. We started making wine in 2005, opened up in uh, late 2008, and we've been having a blast ever since. What's really neat about my winemaking philosophy, I wasn't born and raised in the business or I wasn't just a hedge funds manager that decided to buy a winery. I got to learn how to make wine from people from Australia and people from Spain and Italy and France. And so what I did is I took all their philosophies and I tried to meld them into mine and creating my own new philosophy, which is truly just to recreate some of the best wines that I've had from around the world and do them justice. Sonoma County, I cannot think of a better county as far as a particular region in the world where you can have so many different microclimates to grow everything from world-class Cabernet in Alexander Valley to absolutely world-class Pinot Noir over in the Russian River uh, or on the Sonoma Coast or in the Petaluma Gap. And uh, you've got your warmer region uh, over there in Dry Creek where you know your Zinfandel is king, but you can also grow some of all the wonderful Rhone uh, grape varietals. Being here within 30 miles, I can get almost any grape varietal uh, that I want. And as a winemaker who has a wide variety of things that they enjoy, uh, this was it. This is the mecca of high-end grape growing, allowing me to uh, really express myself with all the different types of wines that I like to create. The love that I got when I uh, first got here, uh, and it was hard for me because as a, as a person that was, you know, in the Navy for a while and, you know, during Don't Ask, Don't Tell and, you know, keeping your sexuality, you know, not just private, but if, you know, if it wasn't private, you could, you know, bad things could happen, you could lose your job. Moving to a different area, uh, you never know, you know, we're obviously very San Francisco adjacent and that's about as loving and as open and, and, and welcoming as you can get. Uh, but you know, most farming communities are a little bit more rural and you, you never, it could be a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But I can tell you, everybody to a T was welcoming, inviting. Um, how can I help? Uh, we don't care about your sexuality. You know, do you make some good wine? Oh, your wines are tasty. Great. We're your good friend. Uh, fast forward a few years after I got here and everybody was uh, very welcoming. I ended up uh, getting married to Danny. And so there was gonna be the first gay wedding in Geyserville. So we were trying to keep the uh, guest list small, but then it got kind of out of hand and most of the town was there and it was absolutely fantastic. So they were, they were really embracing us, just embracing us because they loved us. It wasn't because we just happened to be the first gay folks that got married. They loved us, they were glad that we were here and they were truly glad that we were getting married with, without any you know, pretense. What I love most about Geyserville it's a vibe, it's a feeling. I think it embraces um, everything that Sonoma County has to offer from uh, amazing food. We have just, you know, world-class wines and the town has this wonderful historic feel. But our downtown is, is, is 60 yards long and it's got everything that you can eat. We have our little mini marts, we've got three or four wineries, we've got Catelli's, we have Diavola. So we have great food, we have great wine and the people, are just awesome. The beauty of Sonoma County, I think is really reflected in, in Geyserville. Um, the, the valley is starting to narrow right where Geyserville is at. So you've got the beautiful views of Geyser Peak. You've got Mount St. Helena over on the side, and then you've got the Russian River running through it. And then in between all this beautiful um, valley views, you have a carpet of grapes. I don't know what more can you ask for.